North Raleigh and Midtown Raleigh have long been considered two of the best places to live in Raleigh, North Carolina. But does one have a clear advantage? Let's take a look. Starting off with location, Midtown Raleigh, which is often referred to as North Hills, includes the entire North Hills neighborhood and district, but also includes areas just south of I-440 and the various neighborhoods in and around Six Forks and Lassiter Mills. North Raleigh begins roughly around the Spring Forest Road area and extends north to Wake Forest. There's also a significant number of neighborhoods that are just north of city limits that have Raleigh addresses and are traditionally considered North Raleigh. So is one situated in a better location overall in the triangle? Without considering traffic, Midtown Raleigh's proximity to I-440 gives it an advantage here, as you're really able to get anywhere in just about 15 or 20 minutes. You're right by with the potential to live in the North Hill Shopping Center itself, which is a major entertainment space for many in Raleigh. It's a short drive into downtown Raleigh, as well as the newly named Lenovo Center, where the Hurricanes and the Wolfpack play. North Raleigh is also situated pretty well in the triangle, given in its proximity to I-540, which still allows quick access to the RDU Airport, RTP, and Durham. But it does take longer to get to downtown Raleigh, the Lenovo Center, and certainly some of the more popular suburbs like Cary and Apex. And given that there aren't really any major entertainment destinations in North Raleigh itself, you will find yourself traveling to Midtown and downtown Raleigh for those offerings. On the topic of traveling, commute times in both locations can be heavily impacted by traffic. As a whole, traffic and overall congestion is much worse in Midtown Raleigh than North Raleigh, especially right by North Hills. Outside of North Hills and the main roadway surrounding it, secondary and more minor roads aren't really that heavily congested. And despite the congestion of North Hills and I-440 in the area, you can still get to downtown Raleigh in 20 minutes or so. Now, if you have to get onto I-440, I-40, or Glenwood Avenue to go to RTP, traffic gets much worse. But North Raleigh isn't a whole lot better as traffic is a challenge on main commuting roads like Falls in the News, Six Forks, Capitol Boulevard, and I-540. The overall congestion on a day-to-day -day basis is much less than Midtown Raleigh, but the commutes to downtown Raleigh, RTP, and the RDU Airport are more on the order of 30 minutes plus depending upon how close you live to I-540. So overall, you will deal with traffic in both of these locations, but outside of Falls of the Noose and I-540 areas in North Raleigh, there isn't much congestion on a day-to-day -day basis. The overall look and feel of these locations have both similarities and differences. Midtown Raleigh was built years earlier than much of North Raleigh, which has really exploded over the past 20 to 25 years. So much of what you see in Midtown Raleigh from a shopping center and neighborhood standpoint will feel older with a lot of character, dense tree coverage, and overall fairly dense. The theme of Midtown Raleigh has been knocked down and rebuilt, which is what's happening with the North Hill Shopping Center as well as many older homes in the neighborhoods. North Raleigh as a whole will feel a little bit newer overall and more spread out, but it's not new to the extent of many of Raleigh's growing suburbs as there are still not many new construction neighborhoods going up anymore. There is still plenty of tree coverage though, so both locations do a great job of maintaining Raleigh's character as the city of Oaks. Let's move specifically into living spaces to compare options and costs for renting and owning. But before we do, if you need any real estate assistance in Raleigh or the Triangle area as a whole, please reach out as we would love to help you, like we've already helped so many already from these videos. If you're looking for any sort of walkability, living near North Hills in Midtown Raleigh is really your only option, as they have some newly built apartments that are attracting many young professionals and have most of what you need there on a day-to-day -day basis. Rental prices in North Hills are a little bit less than downtown Raleigh, but honestly, not much. Averaging typically between $1,200 and $2,000 per month for a one to two bedroom unit. North Raleigh really doesn't have anything comparable to renting in North Hills, so rental prices for your typical apartment complexes will naturally run less than Midtown Raleigh. When it comes to neighborhoods, this is where the separator comes, as Midtown Raleigh is quite a bit more expensive than North Raleigh, even though some of the most expensive homes in Raleigh are actually in North Raleigh. Midtown Raleigh's neighborhoods were built years ago, many in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So homes that have not been remodeled are dated and generally they're on the smaller side. You see a lot of ranch and split level style homes, generally with 1,500 to 2,500 square feet. 
But while the home itself isn't valued high, the lot prices are given its prime location, which drives the prices up substantially. Lots can be upwards of $300,000 to $500,000 with those right next to North Hills approaching a million. For this reason, you see many homes being torn down and replaced with multi-million dollar new construction homes. It is very common to see a $3 million house sandwiched in between two smaller ranch style homes that are likely valued around $600,000. So while the average the average price for homes in Midtown Raleigh area is $920,000. You're really either buying generally a smaller, older home for between $600,000 to a million dollars or a newly remodeled or new construction home for well over a million dollars and many times in the range of two to four million dollars. If you're into flipping homes or want to flip your own while you live in it, this area has some great options if you can wrestle one away from those custom builders. One thing about Midtown Raleigh neighborhoods is they generally do not have amenities as most residents will choose to belong to somewhere like North Hills Country Club or Carolina Country Club, which are expensive on their own and many times have wait lists. And HOAs are hit or miss, and for the ones that have them, they aren't very restrictive. This can be a pro, but it can provide more opportunity for neighboring properties to do something you may not be in favor of. Despite not having amenities to naturally bring people together and many times a non-cohesive look to the neighborhoods, many of these neighborhoods still have a really great community. The neighborhoods are built more around busier streets. So while there are still plenty of places for children to safely play, parents do have to be a little bit more mindful of which streets children play on. North Raleigh has a mixture of neighborhoods and it changes as you work your ways north. It's Marquee neighborhood of Northridge, which has one of the best country clubs in the area with pools, golfing, and tennis looks and feels a lot like North Hills neighborhoods, as you'll see the mixture of older homes with newly rebuilt, three to $4 million new construction homes, and the home prices overall are much like Midtown Raleigh. As you work your way north though, especially north of I-540, home prices get much more affordable as a whole, with the average for the area at $650,000. You can get a nice home for around four hundred to $500,000 in neighborhoods like Durant Trails and Trace that are in great locations by I-540, but the most popular neighborhoods are Falls River and Bedford, which are both beautiful communities with tree-lined streets and really great amenities, including pools, parks, walking trails, and even a shopping center. And homes in these neighborhoods are mostly between $500,000 to a million dollars. There's Wakefield to the north, which also has its own country club with many home prices between $500,000 to a million dollars as well but it also has some mansions that are millions. And as mentioned before, just outside city limits are the more estate-style neighborhoods and homes that are well above a million dollars, as this area provides more privacy and land in general and is close to Falls Lake. But overall, while North Raleigh has its fair share of expensive homes, it is overall much more affordable for most home buyers than Midtown Raleigh. While on the topic of neighborhoods, we better talk about schools. And both areas are part of the Wake County public school system and have some really great options. The school facilities themselves are generally a little older in Midtown Raleigh than North Raleigh, but both offer a great variety of options that include traditional year-round magnet and certainly charter and private school options. North Raleigh may have a few more of those charter and private school options, but it's not a major disparity. I encourage everyone to do their own research on schools, but both areas do provide some great options. Now let's get into entertainment, which will include both restaurants, shopping, and overall entertainment. And due to the North Hill Shopping Center, Midtown Raleigh wins here by a landslide. It has great restaurants, continues to grow in its shopping options, has a movie theater, fitness studios, and a variety of events that include farmers markets and live music. And Midtown Raleigh has Crabtree Valley Mall right in its backyard, as well as quick access to the sporting events of the Lenovo Center and Carter Finley Stadium. North Raleigh has the entertainment that you would expect from a typical suburban area. There are plenty of shopping centers, great restaurants with all the general stores that you need on a daily basis. There's a really nice lifetime fitness with a large outdoor pool and Lafayette Village, which is a French themed collection of stores and restaurants that does have multiple events throughout the year. So North Raleigh does have everything you need, but it still doesn't compare to what North Hills has to offer. And it's a little further away from the Lenovo Center and downtown Raleigh. But where North Raleigh lacks entertainment wise, it makes up for in its parks as it has an amazing network of parks and greenways. 
The 26-mile Noose River Greenway Trail originates in North Raleigh, as well as Falls Lake being right next door. There are nature preserves with a multitude of both paved and unpaved walking trails, and there are multiple playgrounds for families beyond what is already offered in most neighborhoods in places like Bailiwick Park, Millbrook Exchange Park, Green Hills Park, and Blue Jay Point. So if you enjoy the outdoors, North Raleigh will keep you entertained. Midtown Raleigh has several options, but nothing to the extent that North Raleigh offers. There is a small park within the North Hills neighborhood itself. Shelly Lake has a two-mile paved trail around the lake with a playground of its own. And Lassiter Mill Park has a beautiful waterfall. That highlights the popular Midtown and North Raleigh areas. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.